Are these new fangled things any good? Toaster Ball, developed by Le Crafteur and published by Seven Studios. By the way, I have no idea if they have a French accent like that when you pronounce their name, but I felt it was appropriate. It's an interesting, fun little game. On the surface, it's really simple. You've got multiple people, one, two, three, or four, can all grab their toaster, line up on the court, and use their toast, or the body of the toaster itself, to bounce the ball backwards and forwards and score in the other player's net. Simple. Not really, because you use the two shoulder buttons to eject toast from each of the two slots on your toaster. And when you eject that toast, the toaster uh, jumps. You use that jumping to move your toaster backwards and forwards across the arena and to perform some exquisite aerial acrobatics. Really, really hard to get to grips with initially. But once you've got the first few minutes passed and you go, ah, that's how it works, the game gets really good fun. There is so much nuance to it. There's so much expertise can be built up in it. And that really took us by surprise. There's so much to love about this game from the multiple skins and characters with some fantastic names like Wildcat Felix de Litter, which by the way is a kitty litter inspired toaster. There's just much creativity going on in here. Uh, there's also much anarchy. Mike and I spent an awful lot of time laughing and probably crying and, and just generally having a whale of a time trying to get a simple ball into each other's goal without having a clue what we were doing. And when I say without having a clue what we're doing, that is because the game keeps changing on you. It's not as simple as just bouncing your toasters around because you unlock variants. The more you play, the more you unlock. The variants I'm talking about certainly change the way the game plays. There are are variants like the Hellbell, where the whole arena starts to slide to one side. One of your garages opens up and turns into a big firing portal to down under. If you or your opponent fall into that fire, well, that's game over. Your opponent wins. There's uh, anti-gravity, where you get sucked up to the roof and everything goes a bit screwy. There's old school Pong in there and a nod to Portal. Yes, Portal. It's in there too. The developers really have given a lot of thought to how to make this game engaging and fun. And we cannot recommend this game highly enough. That said, at launch, it's a probably fairly reasonable £8.99. We, being the miserly lot that we are, did think, mm, we'd buy it for a fiver. Might not buy it for £8.99. So if you see it on a sale, around about the £5, six pound mark, it's a no-brainer. If you've got £9 sitting in your pocket, you won't be disappointed. But you're not going to get that much play out of it, we suspect. It's one of these games that you're going to pull out at parties, or when you've got a couple of friends around, everyone's going to have a laugh for a couple of minutes, and then move on. But it does give you a good laugh for quite a while. And there's plenty to unlock. We only scratched the surface off it while we were playing. So if you get a chance, give it a bash.